Hello. Hello, Raj. How are Good you? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm fine. Thank you. And how are you? Yeah, <laughs> I'm also good. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm in my hometown. I traveled this morning. My bus got delayed, so I missed the previous sessions. And I'm lucky enough to be with you here. Oh, <laughs> oh. my goodness. Yeah, I it's mean, okay. Huh. Fine. But uh, we yeah, are lucky. Right. I mean, I'm here. Yeah, just... I'm, I am. <laughs> so... How are you, Raj? How, how is your preparation going on? How are your studies and how is your occupation? Everything going hand in hand? Yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, and what about the journey with English? The journey is going good. Okay. And, uh, the feedback that I have gotten, I am trying to work on the, especially okay. on pronunciation. I think you need yeah. to do only on that. Your focus should be all in all in pronunciation because you are very good at, you know, written English, uh, everything. So the only thing that matters is pronunciation. You need to right. feel free. I feel, you know, you are a bit hesitant to speak, right? Uh, yeah. You, you're not very I free. Get this, uh, I mean, I get the same feedback, no matter how many tutors I have tried to. Everybody says the same, right? Yeah. Huh. So what do you do for that? Now we have to find a solution for it. That's why we are here. Hmm? So I, I have improved a lot. Earlier I used to sound monotonous and now I can feel that I sound a bit better than not better. earlier. Not, and, uh, uh, not okay. earlier, it's earlier. Yeah, earlier. Just earlier, R is silent, okay? Earlier. earlier. You can okay. just say it earlier. quickly, earlier. Uh, unnecessarily, what you have to do is, uh, Raj, you don't have to stress on the syllables anywhere. Don't stress. Yeah. The, the, the English language is all about that. When you watch some English series or, you know, movies or whatever it is, you know, it's just a flow. Have you noticed that? Unlike, yeah, our, right. in, unlike our Indian languages, it has a very smooth flow. Right. Hey, what are you doing? How are you? How is the day treating you? How about the weather? See? It's just a musical, and this is called the intonation. All right. And I want you to practice this on a daily basis. So there's something called, I think, I don't know whether I've already told you about this, the shadow reading. Have I told yeah. you? Yeah, yes. I think that will be helpful for you. Every day, minimum 15 minutes. Play it in the morning. Do it as, you know, as, do you take tea in the morning every day? Do you? Are you a tea? No, 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 no. I don't. I don't take tea. You don't take tea. Then what do you have in the morning? Nothing? You don't nothing. drink anything? Just nothing. water. Just water. Okay. Yeah. But that's mandatory, right? Once you're out of the bed, you really want to have a glass of water. Yes yeah. or no? Raj? Yeah. In the, in the same way, I want you to practice this shadow reading. That will bring about right. the change in you. Morning, when you wake up, just play it and just try to say along with it the same tune the same way, everything like that. They, yeah. That will that will help you a lot. And when you do it on a regular basis, you know, it will be really, really helpful. Because that's sure. all. Otherwise, you know, the written part and your knowledge, everything is really good. Because, because you're also a tutor. What do I have to tell you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, Raj? Huh. Right. Yeah. And today we have a wonderful topic, vocabulary. Yes. So can you just uh, tell me something about, you know, what is your view about, I mean, how much should one know, uh, be aware about vocabulary and how useful it's going to be, especially when it comes to foreign language. Our mother tongue, we don't even have to bother about it, Raj, right? Yeah, right. Because we have grown up listening to all those words that we generally use. And that's why we think that uh, we do not need the vocabulary as far as the colloquial long language is concerned. The colloquial language is concerned because we yeah. have already imbibed all the lovely words ever since we were born. I mean, ever since we were born, we are, you are listening right. to it. So, you know, it is, you have just imbibed, you have just assimilated everything. We don't have to work on it. It just comes naturally, right? But right. as far as a foreign language is concerned, for us, English is a foreign language. So we right. really have to put in a lot of effort hmm, to improve our vocabulary. Now, can you just speak? I mean, the whole purpose is 
talking. I want you to talk, right? So right. can you give a comparative study, I mean, of vocabulary between the, uh, I mean, your mother tongue as well as a foreign language? Can you just brief about it? Yeah, uh, when it comes to vocab vocabulary, as far as my view point are concerned, we, knew, we do need certain uh, kind of when, vocabulary in our mother Raj, tongue. It is when my point of view is concerned. Is, from my, is concerned. concerned, okay? Yeah. Or my point of views, if it is a plural, are concerned. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. Hmm. So, uh, when I think about the, uh, the language and the vocabulary, even in our mother tongue, we do need certain kind of vocabulary to express ourselves in better way. Of course. Yeah. And uh, we can have that only if we are reading on a regular basis. No so doubt. To, to make vocabulary sound, to make a sound vocabulary, we do need to focus on reading. And apart from that, we, we need to inculcate or imbibe that in ourselves in such a way that we are using that. It's not about rote learning, the mugging yes. of things. But instead of that, if we are trying to use the words in our conversation on a, on a daily, daily basis, basis, then only we would in enhance our vocabulary yeah very good and it and it is must because no matter what we are going to explain we do need uh, the uses of vocabulary different uses of vocabulary yeah if we are but, using the simple words it's okay we can express ourselves but if we have a vast knowledge of vocabulary that will i mean something add up to our personality that is very true we are you are speaking so well well put in Raj. Excellent. Yeah. For example, Shashi Tharoor, Dr. Yeah. Shashi Tharoor, what right. a pure pleasure to listen to him speak. His in-depth knowledge and his vocabulary and whatnot and the personality altogether. It's just pure pleasure. And I think anybody who loves the English language would just want to be like him. Yes or no? What's it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. And his greatness is this abundant vocabulary, the words which we use, we have to take the dictionary. If, he start, if you listen to his speech, I think we have to keep a digital dictionary next to us. And each time we'll have to browse, hey, what does this mean? What does that mean? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but actually it's pure pleasure when, you know, great literate people, when they start speaking the flow. Have you heard about Manu Espirli, the great historian, young historian? He's just in his 30s. Uh, no, I haven't heard. You should hear him also speak about history. Oh my God, he has his podcast as well. Just type okay. Manu Espirli. Okay. Yeah. The, you know, these people, I mean, I, I'm a diehard fan of these two guys. I mean, Shashi Tharoor, Manu Espirli. Whenever time permits, I do listen to all those things. It's really, really nice. You know, out yeah. of the sheer love for the language, because they all have mastered the language. And for them, when they start speaking, it's just a non-stop flow. There is no yeah. pause or anything. Right. You know? uh, yeah, uh, the pause and everything happens at the right time and the right, I mean, in the right way. It's just, I mean, out of the way. And I, I would like to add one thing here, that my love for English had started because of cricket. And at those times, only English commentary used to be available on those channels. Today we can enjoy Hindi as well. Yeah. So the Ravi Shastri and sorry, yes, Ravi Shastri Ravi Shastri. and Harsha Hogli. These yes. two are my favorite oh, commentators. Yeah. And I Both are really good. Them. Yeah. Good. Now you still listen to the English? Yeah. Yeah. That's really and nowadays we have so many uh, I mean with the onset of YouTube during the last 10, 15 years, now you can listen to anybody anywhere, anytime. What about current right. current Thapar? Yeah, the uh, journalist. The journalist? Have, yes. Yeah, he's also very good. Then what about uh, Palki Sharma, the lady? Yeah, I yeah, used I, to listen to her a lot. Yeah, she's so, too good. She is. And you know, we, we can understand and what she has she's She has resumed with another channel. Vantage uh, TV. Vantage. Vantage yeah, right. yeah, now she's with Vantage. Previously, she used to be with the Beyond TV. That's Beyond. where, you know, uh, yeah, Beyond, uh, I mean, I happen to listen to her. I consider her, you know, her, she's so composed, so poised, and the flow 
how she speaks. It's really nice. So what we do is when we listen to all these things, you know, we get inspired. Yes or no? Yeah. Yeah. So Raj, in your case, that's what I want you to do. Listen, 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 and also along with it, read continuously. You may read and you may listen. That's all. I, I don't, next time when I happen to see you, I want to see drastic change in you. You know, if you do okay. it aggressively, the change will happen. Hmm? Yeah. Now sure. coming back to vocabulary, uh, do you look into the meanings of the words? I mean, its origin, for, for example, democracy. Are you aware about the origin of the word, Raj? I'm not sure. But because but, uh, in history book, I find, yeah. history book, we have like, learned demos means? De uh, democracy. So yeah. Dem How demo is related to? People. Demos means people. Yeah, demos means people. And, and democracy is about? Practice uh, means ruling. Ruling. Okay, so democracy means rule. That's why there's a rule of the people, by the people, for the people. Right. Yeah, so that it has the Latin origin. So each word has got its own origin. So once you are try to understand, that is, you know, going into depth. When you do right. that, then you never forget that word. Okay. And there is the word for this, like etymology. Etymology. Yeah. yeah. So each, yeah, etymology, you know, it is the uh, history of the word, each word from where right. it has come, right? So, uh, so once in a while, you do look into it, isn't it, Raj? Yeah, right. Yeah. So what do you think? Like, you know, do you really have to do that? I mean, uh, uh, or, you know, we should just, uh, peripherally, we should just know the meaning and move ahead. What is your opinion and no, why? When, when we do that, it becomes easy to uh, uh, understand that word and to uh, sustain that word in our memory. Correct. You said it. To sustain it forever. Otherwise, we might forget. Right. Okay. There's a beautiful word, gubernatorial. Have you heard it? G-U-B-E-R-N-A-T-O-R-I-A-L. Gubernatorial means of the government. Okay. okay. Of the government. That that again, you know, that I just happened to glance through the Hindu. Uh, I'm very crazy about learning such tough words. I don't know why. I have an inclination mm. towards, you know, not the simple ones, but this, it suddenly catches my attention. And I just write down, I try to memorize so that this is one of the words which I have, but I not always I go into depth, you know, once in a while. Okay. Yeah. So that's about vocabulary. And uh, uh, have you received any advice from anybody about learning vocabulary? And what is your method of learning vocabulary? That's improving your vocabulary. The simple advice that I have gotten is uh, like go through. A, my snail at snail pace. It's like not mugging up more vocabularies in one day. Go two or three vocabulary each day and try to make uh, sentences on them mm. as many as possible or at yeah. least three or five with one word. So mm. It will be useful to, uh, helpful to sustain in yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very good way. And where do you get these words from? Reading the newspaper? Yeah, while or reading newspaper or the Anything, book. books, even yeah, novel. Even while listening to somebody, if, yes. if some word comes up and you are not aware with that. Immediately can... we should remember that. Yes. And if maybe even while you are in conversation with somebody, some word yeah. might be there, something new and catchy. But immediately, because we have a tendency to forget it because it's a new word. Okay, keep right. remembering it and write it down in the book and then find out the meaning and then you know and and then we'll remember the context oh, oh this is how i understood i heard it for the first time so i have to yeah. retain it yeah now what about the colloquial words what do you mean by colloquial words that's also part of vocabulary yeah, yeah. Collo colloquial is all about the you uh, the way we use in our informal yeah. Informal. informal, informal, informal words, you know, colloquial. For example, in English, what do you call it? The slang, right? Yeah, slang word. Yeah, that, that must be something like colloquial. Or, <clears throat> the, when they, you know, they have uh, Americans and British and those who really speak in English, they have so many words which only they are able to use and only they'll understand. We won't even understand most of the words. 
Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, of course. And even when it comes to a mother tongue, each area has got its own dialect, right? Yeah. And if even, for example, I'm in Kerala, and you know, we have different accents, I mean, different dialects in different parts, okay? So when a person from the northern side of Kerala goes to the south, because it has happened with me, I went to study to the south. When, when I start speaking in my own mother tongue, the others who know Malayalam, they don't understand. Why? Yeah. It's because of the colloquial influence. Right. Yeah, and in the same way, in English, you know, there are so many colloquial words. Can you name any one? Raj? Uh, I, I cannot recall it. Even, even I cannot recall suddenly, but you know, they uh, they call uh, what do you what do, buck? What do you mean by buck? Do you have any bucks? Yeah, buck. Buck is all about money. Money. See, that's a slang. Do you have any right. bucks? Yeah, that's a very simple slang. Like that, there are so many words. Okay, and then what are the other things? There is something called jargons. Jar jargon. Jargons. Jargon, jargon is all about related to particular field mm -hmm. of knowledge for yes. example if uh, there is some words that only uh, doctors use it for uh, particular for different uh, medical terms or all that so we can call them all of them as medical jargon medical, medical jargon. Jargon. then in it field they must be using so many words you know among the colleagues and you know just exchanging any field yeah. will have their own jargon yeah, any, any field and there are some words, you know, like uh, I think fantabulous. I think that's a jargon. We can say fantastic okay. and fabulous. Both together they say fantabulous. But okay. yeah, that is something so different. Okay, then the aha moment. What do you mean by the aha moment? That particular that is, moment. Yeah, that's also that's a, a sur surprising. Yeah. Surprising. Like the way of surprising. Yeah. So they usually they are saying that we shouldn't be using much of jargons because it's not a healthy way of uh, improving your vocabulary. So try to avoid all these jargons and stick on to the real good vocabulary in English. That's what they say. Okay. So when it yeah. comes to conversation, if you want to improve and if you want to be really a real good, I mean, if your keen interest is on improving, we stick on to the real good vocabulary, enrich it day by day and use it. Right. Yeah. So Raj, it's the last minute. Uh, any queries? No, it's okay. No. I cannot uh, recollect any queries. <laughs> you cannot recollect any. But Raj, yeah. please keep reading, keep listening, keep repeating yourself and try to say some tongue twisters as well. Yeah, I, I have been trying that. Like she sells when I try. So, so yeah. you have a problem with she sells she, seashells at she the seashore. Seashells at the seashore. Excellent. Then, when I had started using this at that point of time, I had not even worked on S and S account properly, and that become uh, problematic for me. So now I it's correct, right? Yes. 